Tagad ir tas brīdis, kad mēs izmantosim brīnišķīgās tehnoloģiju iespējas un uzklausīsim vienu no mūsu Norvēģu kolēģiem. Cilvēku, kurš pirms gada mūs vadāja pa Norvēģijas skolām un iestādēm un institūcijām un stāstīja un dalījās savā pieredzē un Diemžēl nevarēja piedalīties klātienē, bet sūta mūsu visirsnīgākos svēcienus. Tas ir Hjels Turbīs, organizācijas kultūrtanken vai māksla jauniešu auditorijai Norvēģijā, startotsko projektu vadītājs, kurš mūs uzrunās stāstot par Norvēģijas kultūras skolas somas pieredzi. Skatāmies un klausāmies. Dear friends and colleagues in Latvijā, we have been invited um, by the Ministry of Culture in, in Latvia to present some ideas from Norway. And my name is Kjell Turbi. I'm working in Arts for Young Audiences, Norway. And we started with a cultural program in music in 1968. I will tell you some of our experiences. In this first picture, you see a small village in an island in Norway. Our program has developed in such a way that we now reach out to all young people of the country. In this little village, there might be um, a child or more children who are very inspired by the arts. It could even be that there is a future Nobel Prize author in this little village village. Who knows? Anyway, there is going to be schools there, there is going to be art schools in this little village, and also arts for young audiences are visiting, maybe four or five times a year with different kind of art forms. The Cultural School Bag Program of Norway is a national commitment, which is a, a, a national level decision to have an art program for children. And I feel that we are very, very lucky in Norway. Understanding that you will be trying the same things in Latvia in 2018, all the children of Latvia are therefore also very lucky. Kulturtanken, or Arts for Young Audiences, is a government agency for arts and culture. And this means that we are placed under the Ministry of Cultural Affairs but we also cooperate very closely with the Ministry of Education and Research. Altogether, 3,300 schools with 870,000 pupils are included in, in this program of ours. The cultural school bag has been part of the government's cultural political commitment. And this program started in 2001. Before that, um, the program in music was already going on since 1968. And the Cultural School Bank program is based on the experiences made in Concerts Norway. So Kulturtanken, or Arts for Young Audiences Norway, was born in 2016. And this was a merger between the Secretariat of the Cultural School Bank and Concerts Norway. At the same time, Concerts Norway ceased to exist. Kulturtanken, Arts for Young Audiences, will have a staff of about 45 people. Um, and some of these people have been newly engaged. Uh, they are experts in all arts forms. And we also engage researchers. In the Educational Act, it is stating that education in school shall in cooperation and understanding with the child's home open doors to the world and the future and give the pupils an historical and cultural insights and foundation. The Cultural School Bank program is making Norway a leading nation within arts and culture for children and young people. And just to tell you, uh, also the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Norway has been employing uh, Arts for Young Audiences to take care of um, and being project leaders of projects uh, in external countries. For instance, China, Sri Lanka, India, Jordan, Brazil, 
South Africa. The offer in Norway is to be of high quality. And it is also supposed to reflect um, diversity and expressions in both arts and culture. The target group is all the pupils from 1st to 10th grade and also the pupils in high school. I told you before that we started off with music alone in 2001. Different art forms were included in the program. These art forms are visual arts, music, film, literature and cultural heritage. The visual arts programs again have a variety of forms. It could be that you're just showing pictures or um, paintings. It could be that the visual arts is combined with literature or combined with music so that musicians play towards a painting. It could be going into techniques, different techniques of visual arts um, and showing children or having them also experience how to make uh, different visual arts with different kind of technical uh, procedures. In music, we are trying to present all kinds of, of music to broaden the scope of understanding of the children. It could be music that never even heard about or known about, but all peoples at all times have expressed themselves in music. It could be classical music, it could be folk music, it could be Chinese music, it could even be black metal. We do have to be careful, however, uh, of some music forms that kind of undermine the project of the school. In film, um, there is some projects that are um, created, workshop-like, to have children make their own films, their own videos. Or it could be just watching films or understanding how the film making is, is done. How many different kind of processes there is. In literature, as this picture shows, it could be that literature could be presented in, in libraries. But sometimes it is also interesting to, to bring children in a completely different environment. And this different environment creates new feelings uh, because there is always a totality of, of experience for the children that gives the, the total inspiration. Cultural heritage is very important for children to understand where we come from and how we are all just one part of history that goes on hopefully forever. Performing arts can be theater, but it can also be dance. And again, as you know, theater is combined with other art forms. In Norway, the whole project is a very big one. The budget comes from lottery money, around 27 million euros per year. And we are estimating that uh, maybe the local municipalities, they add another 50 million euros uh, annually to this program. In Arts for Young Audiences, we are trying to initiate and stimulate. We are trying to develop pilot projects. Um, and some of these pilot projects are very technology oriented because we are interested in, in also presenting some of the future possibilities of art communications. We are collaborating with regions, with counties, with um, some municipalities, with organizations within all art forms, with uh, higher education universities, and with researchers, um, both nationally and internationally. One big discussion in Norway right now is the question of high quality. What is high quality in art and what is high quality in arts for young audiences? Anne Bamford, she presented the, the wow factor already in 2012, where she claims that um, art of high quality 
can uh, build a stronger uh, learning environment at school. So actually, the the grades uh, will uh, be better. The ableness to concentrate uh, will be better. There are other uh, researchers who claim that this cannot be proven. And we are thinking of going into this very difficult question and see if we find some, some answers about the effects of arts uh, generally in the child's behavior and learning abilities. Now, I come to um, a slide here just to show you another thing which you might know already. Um, we have kind of identified in our new uh, program planning system that there are five elements that we have to consider when we are having a program idea uh, and wanting to, to make a program. Of course, the first one is uh, an, um, a suggestion of a program, an idea for a program. This can be in any art form. And you, uh, starting now, you should have a system of, of having um, a possibility to receive program uh, suggestions from anyone. It could be a website or, or something. Then someone has to decide which of the suggestions could be interesting to develop into a production. And in order to have a production which is suitable for, for a young audience, you need to have producers or cu curators that work with the artists uh, in such a way that whatever program is made is relevant for the, a young audience. Then you must do the practical thing. You must make this program into a touring program. How can you do a touring of this program? And how do you distribute? Which is the fourth element. How do you distribute? How do you make a tour? Um, how many times and how much uh, work do the artists need to do every day? And finally, you should have a system of evaluation. Uh, an evaluation from the schools, as well as from the artists, as well as from the producers. And then the evaluation gives you a possibility to improve whatever you are planning to do in the future. I'll just mention shortly that in uh, Norway we have created a small program we call Pupils Hosting Arts Events at School. This has been very successful. And, and this has built great ownership uh, within each of the schools because there are some students that have a special role uh, when artists are coming. And in some ways you could say that, that um, what we try to, to implement here is something that festivals do when they have volunteers. So students that have this role they are preparing the school in advance of the visit. This means that they might visit different classes. It, it might mean that they have a presentation of some form to um, inspire ahead of the visits. So when the day comes, when the artists are supposed to, to come to the school, the same students will be the ones welcoming the artists. And they will also host the visit of the artist during their visit. Maybe they make a green room, maybe they do something else. And finally, they are presenting the artist for the fellow schoolmates. Um, this has been very successful and some of the children have, have been surprisingly uh, good uh, in this role. At Arts for Young Audiences, I mentioned that we are also creating programs that look into the future. And finally, I will just show you a very short video clip, one and a half minute, of um, how this can be done. Thank you for attention. I'm sorry I was not able to be with you. Bye bye. Welcome to Kunsttanken. 
Vi har vår kreative lab her i Kulturtanken, og her er det vi utforsker, utprøver forskjellige muligheter. Wow! Vi bygger en kikk i Minecraft. Men har dere bygd alt det der? Ja. Har dere det? Her, rundt omkring oss i dag, ser vi forskjellige kulturarvmuligheter. Hvordan teknologi kan bidra til å utvide forståelsen av hva kulturarv kan være, og gi deg en helt annen og kroppslig forståelse av hva kulturarv er, på forskjellige vis. Å, nå ser jeg hele kirken. Ja, nå ser du. Jeg så Sankt Nikolas kirken, og så så jeg noen sånne pigge ting foran kirken. Det er sånne stater på en måte. 